welcome back to my channel. My name is Alana and I'm a full-time reseller. I sell primarily women's clothing, accessories, and shoes on mostly Poshmark and a little bit um, on eBay as well. So today I am going to share my step-by-step -step process on how I ship my orders out. I have three orders to ship today so I thought I would just run through them and hopefully this is helpful to you. So I start by printing out the shipping labels on Poshmark. They do um, send you a shipping label once someone buys something, which is so awesome. So you can just print it out. Um, I don't have a label maker yet. Hopefully at some point soon I will get one, but for now I'm still just printing them out on paper and then folding them up. One thing I do before I even like sit down to ship everything is on each of the labels after I print them out, I'll just write on the back like the person's name and then what it is that they ordered. Um, and I'm still pretty small right now, so I don't do like inventory numbers or anything like that. I just know where everything is in my inventory space. So I just go through each one, kind of cross check with the printed label. Sometimes the name on the label, um, I should probably should not be showing that. <laughs> Sometimes the name on the label is different than the actual buyer's name on Poshmark um, because it could be like their parents or whatever it is. Um, but I always will write the name of the buyer's name from the email that I get that says the buyer's name um, on the back so I know what to write their thank you card to so I'm not saying their parents name or whatever for when they open up their package. So I kind of just do like the cross checking on the back end there to make sure when I come to sit down um, to ship everything it's all organized and ready to go. Makes my life a little bit easier. Alright next thing I do is I will write out the thank you cards to them and I just write on these like normal index cards. I don't have anything fancy, just pen and paper, write a quick thank you for their purchase um, so that it's a nice little touch when they open up their package. So this is what my Thank you cards just look like. I just say, hi so-and-so, thank you so much for your purchase. I hope you love this and then whatever it was that they purchased. So now I have all my labels ready and I have all of my thank yous ready. So now it is time to package them up. So when I mail clothes, I usually will do them in these poly mailer bags. I got these cute flamingo ones off Amazon. I love them, they're perfect. First thing I am shipping are these pair of American Eagle skinny jeans. Um, they sold for $21. So first thing I do is I put the item in these clear, um, I guess poly mailer bags. They are a slightly smaller size than my flamingo bags. They're really easy to find like a little bit smaller of a poly, a clear poly mailer bag. So it'll fit into the outer poly mailer bag. But this just gives, um, the item a little bit extra protection during transport. it's in there nicely and then it has this like adhesive tape so you just peel it let that air out so that is nicely packaged up nice and protected and then I will just take the thank you card to that person and have these thank you stickers also an Amazon purchase And I will do it just like that. So I just stick the thank you sticker on there. So when they open it out of the poly mailer, they see the thank you sticker and they see the thank you note. So this is the poly mailer. Just slide it right in there. And then this flamingo packaging also has that adhesive, which is nice. Don't have to use shipping tape on all of that just for the label and it is and voila <laughs> cover that address there it is next thing we are shipping is this made well pajama top i sold this today for 25 dollars 
I don't have like a fancy folding table or anything. I just do my best to fold it, make sure it looks nice so that when it's in the clear poly mailer, it looks nice when they open it. And I always put it in backwards. So if this is the top here, I will put it in so that when I close it, out this way, when I close it, the flap on the mailer will be in the back of the item. There it is with the thank you sticker and the note. take a little bit of time to fold these up and obviously then you are using more tape to tape it on to the packaging but for now this is what I'm working with so I just make do but if you have um, a label maker that you really like let me know down below um, I don't want to spend a ton on one but I definitely think it's pretty much time to upgrade soon. And then I'm shipping this Dooney and Burke purse this sold yesterday for $68 um, so that was a nice flip sold that pretty quickly, which I was very happy about. But for an item like this, for purses or shoes, I will use a priority mail box. So for this, I'm gonna use a large flat rate box. Looks like this, I don't have any medium ones, so that's why I'm using a large one right now. Um, but you can order these free from the USPS website and they will ship them to you. Um, you can also pick them up at the post office, but from my experience, they tend to be out of them a lot. So I think it is nice just to ship them to yourself for free on the USPS website. It's super, super easy. And I don't use any like packaging paper. I just use tissue paper, um, which has always worked well for me. So it's nice and just kind of covered up there in the box. And then I'll usually just do one more piece of tissue paper just to kind of lay over it nicely. And then once again, I'll take a thank you sticker with the thank you note, set it on there so that when they open it, that's the first thing they see. And then another note about these priority mailboxes is you can actually use um, with the Poshmark label, you can use these flat rate boxes. So this one says flat rate right here. Um, I have gotten pushback from employees at the post office, but actually on the label, it says down at the bottom, Poshmark shippers are authorized to use all priority mail packaging, including flat rate and regional rate packaging. So if you get pushback, you can kindly point to that little note. And voila! So then with um, taking the packages to the post office, you can either schedule a pickup. So on the USPS website, you can also schedule a pickup for your packages a day in advance. So if I scheduled one today, it would come tomorrow during my regular like mail pickup time, or I could drop them off at the post office, which is right down the street, very close, but it is nice to um, have that option of having them come to your house. And I have it set up so they just like ring the doorbell when they come instead of leaving my packages um, outside. So I really like that option, but also obviously like just taking them to the post office works too. I think that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. And I hope that was somewhat helpful. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. I hope you have a great week, great sales week, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.